This is a tough matchup, I imagine, for Gobo in general, no? Because he doesn't really have a good character pick. Chip is good against Gold Lewis, and I think he's good against Zato, too. Gold Lewis players really don't like this matchup. I think Gobo's own tier list had this as, like, the worst matchup for him. You have, like, not great control with either character, but the, the thing that Gold Lewis gives you that Zato does not is one chance factor that is extremely high. Gold Lewis just fucking murders Chip if he hits him. It's just really hard to hit him. This matchup has, oh, I think, always been like this, though. I don't know if I think it's Gold Lewis' worst matchup, but I do think it's winning for Chip. Unlike Pa, Gold Lewis has more chances to kill, more reward, and better pressure against Chip. I mean, just but look at the screen, right? Like, wa just watch the match. Look at the neutral and look at where Gold Lewis is most of the time. This is what the matchup looks like. He is just, like... Oh, he tried to bait him with 5H. I like that idea. Like, this is just what the neutral looks like. Chip has much better neutral and is not easy to hit most of the time. And he has a DP and a three frame button to like, you know, you want to cancel into Behemoths. Like he just has good options to deal with it. He wins neutral. His offense is incredibly effective because Gold Lewis has slow lights to poke with. It's not his 2P and his 2P doesn't reach in the range where Chip wants to punish uh, you for pressing. So like when you block Rekka there, like if you just hit 2P and like it doesn't reach chip. So like you have no low, you don't have a threat on a light that really scares him from just doing Rekka Rekka over and over like that. He has no, he has nothing good there to hit. He can try to RPS with like jump D or like his far slash. But again, if you if chip is just like out of range for both, then you're just in a bad spot and you're just like, well, this is what the neutral looks like. Gold Lewis just sits there and chip stands right around here. And the minute Gold Lewis does anything, jump D, far slash, whatever he wants to do, he runs in and then now it's his turn to press, right? Then he backs up Then he does that again. Like, you're just so slow that this is what he does to you. It's not a, this is not a Gold Lewis specific thing too. Any character, oh, sick punish. Any character uh, that is like not Chip, Chip can do this too, right? He can just stand there, let you do whatever you want to do and then does this to you. Like, that's why this matchup is like, look, he lets him whiff and then he runs in. Like, he got his jab mashed on him. But that's how you play the neutral against Gold Lewis. You just sit there let him do whatever he wants to do and then like he whip punishes him right lets him do whatever he wants to do, whip punishes him walks back air to air like you see you see what he's doing this is how you play the matchup let him whiff then go attack back up let him whiff then go attack and like go look at gobo struggling to find anything to do like, he's just flailing in neutral hoping he gets the hit and it works one time but like how many times has he been wrong right this is just what you do. And like, I'm not saying Gold Lewis is not good. I think Gold, he's one of the best characters in the game. Like he's right around top five or so overall, right? But this matchup is good for Chip. And this is how you play it. In neutral, every time he whiffs, Chip just runs forward like that. Gobo's like, all right, I'm going to just fucking hit 6H. Because like whatever I whiff, he's just going to run forward after. So fuck it. I'll just hit this big ass button. Yeah, this is what most Chip does with most matchups. It is exactly what he does. But not all characters can he do this on as effectively. This is this is a good matchup for him to do this on. Importantly as well, on defense, Gold Lewis's lights range is a is a good thing for Chip. He has good advantages to take uh, because of it. When he was saying he's playing the matchup well, Chip ended up with less HP than Gold Lewis. Dude, he's winning. Even if he's not winning, first of all. The matchup is not just like, oh, he's he has more life than him, this is the matchup. Or he has less life than him, this is the matchup. Like earlier too, Mochi versus Gobo. That matchup is winning for Gold Lewis. His neutral against Soul is excellent. And his pressure is really, really scary for him to deal with. I think the way to play this matchup if you're Soul is basically to try and play neutral sort of farther away and play reactively with your 6P and your whip punishes with like 6H or whatever on Behemoth. That's like your objective most of the time. And Mochi does that and then you see he like just waits far away with the 6P. He, he does that and he also spends a lot of time um, trying to use his air movement to like, you know, get around drone and stuff. BRC air dash there to get that offense. This is where it goes bad. Mochi did a lot of really right things in the matchup, but then he still lost because the matchup's hard. In this case, I think like TY is playing the matchup pretty well. He's playing like a pretty standard game plan in the matchup and doing well and Gobo's losing because, yeah, I mean, 
He's also, he's trying to figure it out, but this, I mean, this is hard. This is not an easy matchup to play. Yeah, Milia does not beat Goldwiss. Goldwiss beats Milia. And the reason is she can try something similar, but the problem is she has much worse grounded reward and her pressure is not structured in a way that deals with Goldwiss's lights very well. The difference between them is that her pressure has lots of like aerial stuff and things that are much easier for Goldwiss to deal with because his 2P is an anti-air. Chip can approach you on the ground and his pressure is structured around doing slightly negative moves on the ground and then staggering or whip punishing your lights after. Goldwiss does not have good ways to deal with that. But for Milia, he just does this. She tries to approach on the air and then he does this and he wins the game off of it. Not only is the damage good, but she just does not have a good way to deal with this. If 2P didn't anti-air, I think the matchup would be so much better for her. But Chip Rekka and the way he pressures is weak to lights. You guys have watched Chip versus Nago before, right? Think about when Chip does Rekka and then Nago just mashes 5k after. Rekka 1 and Rekka 2 are negative on hit and block. And Nago's 5k is a 7 frame light that goes extremely far. Same thing with his 2k. So even if he's getting hit, he can 5k and 2k and mash those buttons and the reward is extremely high and he can RPS really effectively against Chip because Chip's entire game plan is doing offense that is slightly negative, spacing you out after and RPSing with his movement and strong buttons. What ends up happening is you don't press because you're like, okay, he's gonna walk back, so I'll run forward. And then he does immediate far slash or air dash and then catches your option. And I'm explaining this because you chip players in chat don't know what your own character does. You can RPS against it with characters who have extremely good lights, right? Or extremely good options to do when your opponent is slightly negative. But if your character does not have good options there, he's a nine frame far slash, his dash is incredibly fast, his air dash is fast, his dashing 5k and 2k is extremely good. And in the corner, in this version of the game, he gets 2k or 5k, 2d, Rekka Rekka, super wall break. And then he's like the strongest character in terms of offense because his positive bonus is so good. This character is a character he can take advantage of that with on defense. Characters who have extremely good lights or characters who can control neutral better, it's not really the same. If Gold Lewis had Nago's 5k or 2k, he would probably destroy him. But because he doesn't, he can play that RPS really well. I have explained the matchup and why the matchup works like this. And the chip player's response is, I'm not saying chip's not good. I just think it's not bad. He do high damage when he hit me with coffin. And I don't think the matchup is miserable. It's just chip favored. If the damage is like all that it matters, then like May, Potemkin, and Gold Lewis and Nago are the best characters. I don't know what else to tell you besides that this is why people think the matchup is favored for Chip. And it's a pretty common talking point amongst most Gold Lewis players and most Chip players that the matchup is good for Chip. So if you don't agree, that's fine. But this is why most people think that. Like I think this matchup is better for Gold Lewis than Chip. I would rather fight Geo than Chip as Gold Lewis. The thing about this matchup is that Goldus has much better options in neutral and pressing on defense. His defensive challenges are much better and in neutral, he has much better responses with his jump D and 5K than he ever has against Chip. Those are like much bigger problems. In this matchup, his jump D is like a much bigger threat because she doesn't have the mobility and anti-airs to deal with it as much. Well, there's one, but she doesn't have as much good stuff to deal with it and Chip does because of his movement. And then also you have better challenges on defense because she doesn't push you back to the same kind of range where his buttons don't feel as good. Yeah, see that is something that's really hard to do against Chip. Just like finding jump Ds like that is not a thing. It's much harder to hit him with it. Oh no, that was it. He won right there on that round. That is brutal. Oh no. Help. Oh no, not like this. Next hit, she supers. Oh, this is burst safe. Yeah. Oh, uh, that is brutal. You know when you Gold Lewis players ask like, hey, I don't want to play Gold Lewis because sometimes I get the wrong Typhoon. Like, how do I stop getting the wrong Typhoon? Like, everybody just does the right thing all the time. This is the wrong Typhoon. I don't say that to dissuade you. This should show you that it's okay. Like everybody misses him. In the other set, he tried to do Behemoth after the wall break and he just got 5H. Even the Goldless players who have the best tournament results miss him.
it's pretty normal you chip players gotta go you guys are like gold lewis is so good gold lewis and chip are like a, a very similar in power level like the top three or four characters exist and then after them the spots are being fought for like biken chip gold lewis and like testament zato like those characters are fighting for the spots right after but gold lewis is too good in this version for sure he is really powerful i told you he was good when he came out i told you he was good last patch and i told you he was good the patch before that and I'm telling you, he's good in this version. But Lewis has always been good. Listen. I'm saying this while Hotashi's like, Nago's not even that good. You motherfuckers like complain about Nago. I'm better than Nubenheimer and this, this, and that. So why am I over here conceding nerfs for my characters when the Nago players are talking about like this? Like I should be over here like, make drone fucking shoot diagonal too. Like she shoots three drones. Like I should be fucking saying like absurd shit instead of trying to be reasonable over here and being like, oh, my character should receive nerfs in the past. Like you guys talking shit. What the hell?